Hey guys, welcome to the first, well, yeah, Sega. Anyway, folks, I don't think I need to explain myself for after this. I'm playing the original Sonic the Hedgehog today, and celebration of the upcoming 23rd, which is going to be Sonic's uh, 19th anniversary. Um, hold on. Turn that down a bit, there we go. Anyway, so yeah, the original Sonic the Hedgehog, a game that basically uh, got me into video games. Um, even though that was actually Sonic 2. I first got my Genesis back in 93, I believe I was 2 at the time. And I basically fell in love with the Blue Hedgehog, and I've been playing Sonic games ever since. So, uh, yeah, standard Green Hill Zone. This is a uh, favorite by many, very iconic, was featured in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, and as well as had an amazing 3D remake in uh, Sonic Adventure 2. As far as this run is concerned, I will try to do a no-death run. I will try my hardest. I can't make any promises, especially whenever we get to uh, Labyrinth Zone Act 3, and I'm going to try to go for all the six... Six, not seven, Chaos Emeralds. Oh, there we go. Uh, getting the Chaos Emeralds in this game is just like how it was in Sonic. Uh, is basically you need to collect 50 rings and then jump to the large ring at the end. Uh, they reuse the concept for Sonic CD, and they use this concept sim similar to it... Uh, sim similar to it in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Except in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, you basically had to uh, uh, basically get 50 rings and then go through a goalpost, not per se the actual uh, gets the end of the level. Uh, they would later bring back the rotating stage for a bonus uh, stage gimmick in Sonic the Hedgehog 3, and this and the rotating stage will be brought back for the um, upcoming, uh, probably to be released sometime in November of 2010, Sonic the Hedgehog 4, in which the stage doesn't spin, you have to spin the stage itself. I'm actually kind of curious to see how it's going to work out, but uh, I've got high hopes for it. And we got an extra continue. So Green Hill Zone is basically the introductory course to get used to the uh, physics mechanics of Sonic the Hedgehog. Also has the iconic Green Hill Zone music, which everyone knows, hums, and will get stuck in their head if they're not careful. There's also the first enemies that we ever see in the Sonic games, such as the Buzz Bombers, um, uh, Jaws, or the Robot of Piranha, and I believe the Robot of Crab was known as Claws, or Crab, I forgot. Basically, if you are going for all the Chaos Emeralds, it's best to try to get them all out of the way as soon as possible. So therefore, you're not having to like worry about being very precision and precise, because this game is really meant to be played uh, speed-wise. And if you're trying to go for all the Chaos Emeralds, it's best to like get, you know, get all six out of the way by the end of Spring Yard Zone. Even though parts of uh, Marble Zone can be... Gotcha. Can be a bit hectic. And not fun as soon as it comes to collecting rings. But uh, this game is meant to be played speedy. Um, the only time you'll really have to slow down is, is if you're trying to get 50 rings and try to avoid being hit by enemies. Alright, let's go this way. Trying not to hit the damn rotating things, because I'm not really sure which way I want to... No! Crap! Oh, boy. Oh, I didn't get the second Chaos Emerald, but uh, I guess I can always try again whenever I loop back around, so... The original Sonic the Hedgehog basically had uh, three uh, three acts per zone, in which uh, how it played out was you basically go through um, the standard two... Uh, first two acts had the Chaos Emeralds in them at the end, and the third act was basically a Robotnik fight. Uh, Robotnik known as America and Europe, I believe, and it was he was known as Eggman in Japan, and later they brought back his Japan uh, his Japanese name for Sonic Adventure on the Dreamcast. I'm probably just going on and on about the history of Sonic, when I should just be talking about how amazing the first game is. I mean, hell, I've actually enjoyed all the Sonic games, including some of the recent 3D outings, except for the one that will not be named. Oh, come on, I almost had that. The only thing that does kind of suck about Sonic 1, especially if you if you uh, come back to playing it after you after you play a lot of Sonic 3 and Sonic 2, is the fact that there is no spin dash. A uh, lot like of spin dash can make some of the areas a bit tricky and a bit annoying, but other than that, it's not that missed. Oh wow, I almost took a hit there. And the first boss in Sonic history, the good old-fashioned ball and chain Robotnik boss, in which 
That's all it is. It swings his ball and chain back and forth. And it's basically can basically an iconic boss. It was uh, reused in um in a, in one of the uh, Metal Sonic fights in Sky Sanctuary Zone in Sonic and Knuckles, and then also uh, was reused in um the uh, quote unquote final zone in Metal Sonic Advance, in which you refought uh, Ball and Chain and the uh, Bulldozer from Sonic 2 before you fought a really hard as hell but fun final boss in Sonic Advance. And Marble Zone. One of my, I want to say, least favorite zones of this game. Uh, it's... No, oh, damn it. It's not that it's a bad zone, per se. It's just because I really, really hate... Uh, I really hate the uh, spiny creatures. The uh, spiked uh, caterpillars, if you will. Uh, the only way to do damage to them is... You can try to jump on their heads, but their head is such a small ridicule that it's easier just to uh, spin dash into them. But other than that, I really hate some of the lava aspects. The lava can really screw you up when you're trying to go for uh, all emeralds. It also introduces crushers, which is never a fun thing in a Sonic game, because if you jump too soon, then you'll be more likely to get crushed. And sometimes these crushers can give you pretty unfair deaths. Oh, what? I don't even want to know how I lost that, so I'm not even going to... Oh, Marble Zone, how I hate thee. I mean, other than this, it's not, like I said, it's not that bad of a stage. I just, it's not one of my favorites in Sonic 1. Uh, one that I probably have an equal amount of hatred is definitely Labyrinth Zone because of the boss in Labyrinth Zone. I probably, no, I didn't. I did not get the Chaos Emerald in this stage. It's like I can find 43 rings, and shit, I'm kind of screwed. Uh, ah, couldn't jump high enough. Okay, now they let me kill the damn bats. There we go. Ah, crap, I kind of blew... Yep, I blew it. Ha, uh, glitch. Yeah, if you can uh, jump at the right minute, you can actually, um... Because normally what happens is Sonic will run off the screen and you can't control him anymore. But if you jump at the right second, you can actually uh, override it and you can actually continue jumping around the little uh, end area screen. Which will basically net you a couple of extra points and I should have waited until the fireball is gone. Kill more bats, and then we get to our first uh, platform marble, yeah, marble riding segment, in which you need to ride uh, basically this little piece of marble through lava. It's not fun. It's never been fun. I've never considered it fun, because uh, later on it just it becomes really annoying. Because eventually we're at, we're be riding a uh, lava spouts to uh, get to higher areas. And another iconic bit of Sonic 1, running from the incredibly slow-moving uh, wall of lava. Ooh, scary. Yeah, I'm not gonna wait for it. And another good thing about Marvel, another good bit of advice from Marvel Zone, look before you leap. Actually, look before you leap in almost every Sonic game, because you never know if you're gonna run right off the stage or run into a badly placed enemy. Or spring trap. All right. Yep. There's a shield right here. And here's the first bit of the lava spouts. Yeah. Sometimes if you perform a jumping animation, Sonic will get stuck in his running animation, and you basically can't hurt enemies because they will hit you and do bad damage. I can't really explain how that happens. It seems to only happen for me in Marble Zone. And get more rings. Ah, Caterpillar of Fun. And sometimes the spin dash doesn't run, does not respond, which blows, but, you know, it was the first, you know, came out in 91, you know, can't really expect much from, you know, well, you can expect a lot from the first Sonic game, I mean, this is the first one they attempted to try new ideas. Knew, knew there's a lava ball there. Fireball. Whatever you want to call it. Ha! 50 rings. Now let's see if I can keep it for the... Nope! 